Hello everyone, this is Tyronymus. Okay, so this is the purpose of this video, it's my first video on this channel, and um, I want to show everyone how to protect your identity while torrenting. So recently on many torrenting sites, there have been warnings given. It hasn't been doing this before, but now it is. So when you go to a torrenting site like cat.ph, for example, and you search for a movie. Now, this pops up every time. It says to protect your identity while downloading torrents. And I found a way to do that. And it's not hard. So the way people get caught is they download movies and when you do download a movie, for example, so you click this, and then when you download the torrent, your IP address is sent out to the person who uploaded it, the movie. That's how you download data, how you do many things. An IP address is a unique string of numbers separated by periods that identifies each computer. So when you download a torrent, you're sending your IP address to the uploader. And sometimes people from Paramount Pictures, they hire federal agencies to make accounts and they upload files and then people they see that file like some movie they like what they see and they download it and that is how they obtain your IP address and um, there are many ways to prevent this first of all you download from trusted sources like Yiffy I just want to give a shout out to Yiffy I download only from him I don't download much but when I do it's from Yiffy he's very trusted he is very popular as well and there are programs for your computer that you can get that will also protect you. Ultrasurf is one of them. When you download it, there's a tutorial here, but I'm not going to talk about how to use it. Just if you want to protect yourself, download it. Also, PeerBlock is a good, good way. How PeerBlock works is you download it, but I can't download it right now because this, I think it's just for Microsoft and I'm using a Mac currently. So when you download PeerBlock, there's um, it opens a little window about this size, and you can add sources that you want to block specifically. And uh, on my HP, I block Microsoft, I block many big names, and that way they can't snoop and look into what you're doing or downloading. But there is an alternative for Macs, p2pblocklist.net, right here. It's all an alternative for PeerBlock that is available for Mac and Linux. I use Peer Guardian. So you click here, download the latest one, and it works just like Peer Block. The way it works is when you download it and when you activated it and you want to download a movie, it um it scrambles your IP address for those who can receive it. On my HP, that's where I mostly torrent things through websites it has changed my IP address to a location in Canada so and I'm not in Canada I just want to put that out there that is how it helps you out and um, yeah so there have been I'm also going to talk about how people do get caught and I already kind of talked about that so when you download something your IP address, and if they do receive your IP address, and if you're a heavy downloader, uh, agencies, they will contact your internet service provider, ISP, and they will have your internet service provider send you a letter because the companies that do catch you downloading, they only have your IP address. They do not have your name, your contact information, but there is a way that they can obtain that. All they have to do is... Uh, ask your internet service provider but to shut down your service but the thing is about the internet provider they don't want to do that because they're losing a customer so they will send you a letter that says you have been caught torrenting and um, they will just kind of ask you is this true are you doing this and they have like they say they have evidence against you and um, a buddy of mine he was caught and uh, the easiest way if you were caught once just to deny it and say maybe you have no password on your internet maybe someone hacked into your computer and did something that's the easiest way to get out of it 
The second time if you're caught, they send you another letter. And that's when you should kind of start consider to stop torrenting. So yeah, that's just what you can do. Also, there's a way through uTorrent to help to protect yourself. Down here, in the uploading speed, you get it. Try to get it as low as possible, because this is inf it just uploading things from your computer. So that's just the few ways that I know how you can protect yourself. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Hope this helped. If you have questions, leave it in the comment area. Well, thank you for watching.